With the opening of Ghost the Musical days away now, Schenectady is seeing dollar signs even more than usual because for the very first time, the production company is doing all their tech work on site. This is really interesting. This means many crew members have been in town for weeks already. Three weeks. They got here August 25th. It's unique. It's never happened at Proctor's, but there's a push in the legislature right now to make this happen more. The bright lights of Broadway are once again about to illuminate the electric city with the magic of Ghost the Musical taking the stage at Proctor's. Ghost is an exceptional production. Proctor's marketing director Richard Loverich explains the special buzz surrounding this timeless love story. Ghost. This is perhaps the most high tech show we've ever put on. And for the first time in Proctor's history, all of the tech work is being done right here on site. A lot of lights, a lot of bang, and a lot of illusions. Townsend Teague is the GM of the entertainment company that's putting on this emotional musical. He explains teching is the test phase for the live performance. They are running through the physical show, all of the elements of it, the lighting effects, the way that the sets move in and out. In fact, a crew of about 100 people has been here for three weeks already. And location wise, for the cast and crew, it doesn't get much more convenient than this. You've got the train station just a couple of minutes away, a downtown packed with restaurants, coffee shops, and hotels. A major economic boost for the downtown economy. We're slated to spend about $120,000 on hotels here. Um, over $30,000 on rental cars. And how about those restaurants? Johnny's has been very accommodating to us. Um, we're loving Johnny's. Um, Zen is uh, another great spot for us, and the Happy Cappuccino is keeping us fueled <laughs> day and night. It's all fueling support for a proposal in the New York State Legislature right now, extending tax credits to theatrical companies like Townsend's to develop their shows in New York. That's music to the ears of those who are as passionate about performances as. Rich Loverich. This is the place that teching should happen in New York State. It might even mean more Broadway business for places like downtown Schenectady. And that's no illusion. And it's important that I point out Proctors wouldn't be getting any kind of extra money or tax break with the Empire State live production tax credit alone. But if passed, the law would take effect in January. Ghost opens Saturday and it runs through next Friday.